Hare Krishna, this is Krishnendu Das, founder of Successful Vaishnavas and founder of the Tilak Challenge. Hashtag. <laughs> um, so I'll keep this really short today. Uh, yesterday we were talking about how if devotees dress in Hare Krishna clothes in public, it makes people more aware um, of how many devotees there really are, which will in turn um, help people to take us more seriously. So I thought to myself it would be cool to have this um, idea of a Tilak Challenge. And the idea is basically like this. You put on tilak wherever you go. Now, of course, sometimes that will be more challenging than other times. Like if you're at home, yeah, no one will see you. Big deal, right? Um, but if you can wear your tilak in public, then um, you know naturally people will see it and they'll get some purification. And they might even start asking you, oh, what's that on your face? And you have an opportunity to speak about Krishna. You know, so the next step from your house would be you know, to go out walking in the streets, you know, where people see you walking down the street. Um, quite a lot of people will, use, will see you that way. Now, of course, it may be more challenging if you're going to work or going to school with tilak on and your friends are not used to it. So let's see who's up for the challenge. Um, for myself, I sometimes meet clients um, in my website business. Uh, not so much at the moment, um, but uh, let me see if I can... Uh, rise to the challenge and wear tilak in, in some of those uh, meetings. That would be interesting. Um, I know also that it would be easier for people from Indian families because, um, you know, wearing tilak and the red uh, bindi dot here is something that people are familiar with as part of the Indian culture. So uh, if you're an Indian, no excuses, easier for you, definitely you need to do it. <laughs> um, you know, and for Western devotees or devotees from other um, cultures, it may be more of a challenge, but um, it'll be even more powerful because people will be like, well, what's that on your face? You know, you're not an Indian or something. Well, what does it mean? And um, you might also consider, well, what will you say when people ask you what that is on your forehead? Hmm. Something to think about. Um, yeah, the other night I took my son, or my two sons, up to the archery club so they're learning to do archery, um, it's quite a good sport for concentration and so on. And they were up there with three other devotee boys. And it was really cool because uh, when they were lining up to pick up their bows from the, um, from the shed, they were all standing in a line and they all had seekers. And from behind they had exactly the same haircut. It wasn't tied up, they were all hanging down, it was a bit straggly, but it was kind of cool to see that they um, you know, all had that same haircut. And, and they were together and feeling like yeah, I belong here. You know, we're part of a special group here. So I think that's uh, one of the um, benefits of this Tilak Challenge, especially if you can share it on Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag uh, Tilak Challenge, because then we can see how many other devotees there are like us who are, you know, trying to go out there and make Srila Prabhupada's movement, make it known. Um, so there's two, two sides of it. One is that, um, you know, when we do something, and we see that others are doing it, it helps us to feel like we're not alone. And on the other side of it, it also helps other people to become curious. It's like, wow, I see all these people with this uh, marking on their face. I wonder what that's all about. Yeah, preaching opportunity. So um, let's see what happens. I just thought it would be a, a fun thing to do is to um, you know, create this tea luck challenge. For those that are thinking that, oh, I'm not able to preach, uh, I'm, I don't know how to do book distribution, or I don't have much time, I'm so busy with my family, my work, my school, etc., etc. Just this one simple thing of putting tilak on might be a way that you could preach that doesn't really take you much time. And it can also provide you a chance to meet people who are a little bit interested. Um, it can be a really a nice starting point for a conversation. So let's um, see how it goes. Uh, it's kind of an experiment as well to see you know what devotees think about this idea. but. Um, I'm hoping that you guys will be game, and I'll also be uh, going out there and wearing my tilak. And I, of course, also bonus points if you wear a dhoti and a kurta, or a sari, you know, or a classic Hare Krishna clothes. That'll be a bonus because you'll be even more noticed, and um, even more likely that people will ask you questions about um, Krishna consciousness. So I'll just leave it for there today, keeping it really short, just under five minutes. Remember, hashtag Tea like challenge. Looking forward to seeing uh, all your hashtags and comments. Make your life successful. Hare Krishna.